Hi everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favorite mango from outer space. I hope you're all doing well today. So, today I'm going to be talking about some fantastic mana map cards that you can buy on a budget to help power up your commander decks. Obviously, we all know that cards like Soul Ring, Farewell Stone, and Arcane Signet are some of the most powerful and affordable mana map cards in the commander format. But, in this video, I want to try and share some cards that you may not have seen before. Cards that are underplayed, but yet very effective in mana ramping. Most cards in this video are found in under 1% of commander decks from the website EDHREC. So statistically, they are indeed underplayed. So enough of my gibbering, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Number one, Coalition Relic, an artifact spell that costs three colorless mana to cast. It says the following. Tap. Add one mana of any color. Tap. Put a charge counter on Coalition Relic. At the beginning of your, of your pre-combat main phase, I'm sorry you're saying upkeep. Uh, so at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all charge counters from your Coalition Relic. Add one mana of any color for each charge counter removed this way. So for starters, this card for free mana comes in untapped and it has the ability to net us one mana when tapping it. One mana of any color, which in Commander is always handy, especially in a multicolored deck. I also really like the charge counter option on this card. You can choose to even activate the tap ability on anyone's turn. I'd recommend doing it just before your turn on your opponent's end step. It's a great way to stack up charge counters if you haven't tapped this artifact for mana yet. Great artifact for ramping. You can buy this card for around $1.70. Number two, Cold Steel Heart. A snow artifact spell that costs two colorless mana and says the following. Cold Steel Heart enters the battlefield tapped. As Cold Steel Heart enters the battlefield, choose a color. Tap, add one mana of the chosen color. So this card is great, you know, a great mana fixer as you can choose to tap it for the color you are missing. Yes, the downside of it is it comes in tapped, slows us down a little bit, but for two mana, netting us one color of the color we choose, yeah, I think it's an even trade-off. Just remember, it will only produce the color we have chosen. So if you say, I want it to produce swamp black, it will only produce that color for the rest of the game. You can buy this card for around 65 cents. Pick one up and try it out. Honestly, it's a great card at a great price. Number three, Grand Architect. A creature the spell that costs two blue and one colorless mana. It says the following. Other blue creatures you control get plus one plus one. For one blue mana, target artifact, creature becomes blue until the end of turn. Tap and untap blue creature you control. Add colorless, colorless, so two colorless mana. Spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. If you ever see Grand Architect, it's usually seen as a combo piece. The card can go infinite with other cards. It can do some really cool stuff. For example, it creates infinite mana with a creature called Pili Pala. I'll put that on the screen now so you can see it. So if you're into infinite mana combos, this is an easy combo to pull off with Pili Pala and Grand Architect. It's also an affordable one, as both the cards cost less than $2 each. Uh, Grand Architect can be a strong mana rock as well. It's cool because he can actually tap himself immediately when he enters for mana. You can buy this card for around $1.20. Number four, Summer Bloom. A sorcery spell that costs one green and one colorless mana. It says the following. You may play up to three additional lands this turn. This card is fantastic at netting new lands onto the board fast and early on. The only downside is, if you run this card early, early game, uh, you are likely going to be left with barely any cards left in your hand. And four mana on the board with little to cast. So the card is rather situational, and what I mean by that is it excels in certain decks. For example, if you're playing a deck that's drawing a lot of cards, then we can cast this and you're going to be having a really good time. Furthermore, decks like uh, Yidris, Yidris decks for example, that revolve around drawing lots and refilling your hands with reels, will absolutely love this card. Finally, this card can set up awesome landfall triggers that will cripple your opponents if you run it in a landfall deck. You can buy one of these cards for just 35 cents. So why not try it out? Number five, 
the final card on my list. It cost around $2.80, making it the most expensive card on my list. I still believe the card is a budget-friendly card, and I believe it's uh, very powerful and affordable for the price. Uh, the card is Heartbeat of Spring, an enchantment spell that costs one green and two colorless mana. It says the following. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one mana of any type that land produced. This card is a lot of fun to play and can cause crazy games as all players are accelerating from this card. This card is going to be able to double your mana from, the, from your lands of course. Uh, so if you're playing a deck that requires a lot of mana to excel then this card is superb for you. A cool way that you can use this card is to find a way to flash it in under your opponent's end step just before your turn. Then enjoy your turn knowing all your lands are going to tap for double the mana. Perhaps you will then, you know, have the mana you need to end the game, casting something huge to clutch the victory. You can buy this card for around $2.80. So yes, I hope you enjoyed my list. Please leave a like and a comment. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, uh, comment, tell me what you think. I love reading your comments, they're always fun. I try to get back to all the comments. Uh, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye.